Are you looking for a five bedroom new construction home in the suburbs of Columbus, Ohio in a highly rated school district? If so, you have got to check out the tour of this new listing that is located away from the busyness of the city, yet is still just a quick drive away from one of the top malls in central Ohio. Hi, I'm David DeLui, your Columbus, Ohio real estate agent, and welcome to Sunbury, Ohio. If you aren't familiar with the Columbus area, Sunbury is located on the north side of Columbus, and this particular part of Sunbury is located just off of Interstate 71, making it extremely convenient to get to the city from this peaceful neighborhood. You might not realize that new construction homes are a great option for people who are looking to move to Columbus, Ohio. I can help you get special incentives from the builders and help you get into a home that's ready for you to move in right away or will be completed soon. I can get all of your questions answered and walk you through the whole process of building a new home from the ground up or buying a new construction home that is already finished. If you're looking for a new construction home but want to be able to make it fully custom from the ground up, make sure to contact me so I can get you connected to this builder and help you through the whole process. Well, let's go take a look around. All right, as we enter into this home, we just have the option of going up the stairs or we can go down the hallway. So let's head this way. And in this home, you know, some of the other homes will have an office right here. This one actually turned the office into a guest suite. So we actually have a full bathroom instead of just a powder room right here. Actually, I really like the shower, the color of the tile, and then that window there with the natural light. It's a great touch. And actually, I really like this vanity as well. Nice and clean, like that uh, faucet as well. Really nice bathroom here. And then here, again, instead of an official office, obviously you could turn it into an office if you want it to be, but you have a guest room. So you've got your closet right here. You see you got a door there. You'll lock it off. Nice size closet. Right now the view is not much to look at, but you got your nice windows looking out onto the front porch. Really nice space that again, you know, you could still use as an office, but that way, if you need the potential to have an extra bedroom, you have it. And here we have the large living room, lots of space. I really like the flooring they have in here. The lighter color rather than the darker grays sometimes that we see. It's really nice. Again, nice high ceilings, nine foot ceilings in here. And it's hard to appreciate this. Let me walk over here so you can see it. This is a really long room. So depending on how you want to lay it out, you have a lot of options. So you got three big windows, giving you lots of natural light. Then you've got this huge space here where you could put a really big dining room table there. You know, whether you wanted to put it this way or if you wanted to put it this way, you just have a lot of space here. Got the kitchen, nice, beautiful white shaker cabinets. Got a nice island there. It already has the appliances. Nice drop down sink here. The quartz countertops. Love the contrast between the dark faucet and the white. I like the exterior color of the home as well. And there are some more homes 
back a far distance off here, but so you definitely have some privacy and there's more storage, more cabinets on this side of the island. Lots of counter space. Nice big pantry with the light in it. Got a sliding door to go into your backyard. And let's go check out over here. Again, I, I just can't get over it. This is such a big space. The living room, the dining area, the kitchen, and the morning room all together. Such a huge space and great. Have big family gatherings or to entertain friends. You could have, and you could host a lot of people in here for a big family gathering, lots of space. So here we have, it, you know, it doesn't have any furniture showing that it would be it, but a nice mudroom space or whatever you want it to be. I guess you could turn it into a, another mini office, you know, put a desk in there. No private window or sorry, no private door. So it is open to the main living area here just by going around this door. I believe it's supposed to be a mudroom. So we have a coat closet right here. And we've got the garage right here. Nice high ceilings. So you can store things up, up above your car. And right here we have the basement. So let's head down here. Actually kind of like the, you have the switchback. I guess it's not a full switchback, but it's not just a stairway straight down. All right, so you got rough ends here for another bathroom. You got your mechanicals. In great space over here, you know, maybe you put in a movie room. Maybe you put in another office, playroom. Lots of options down here to finish it to your own liking or for storage. And hey, you even notice here too, this is a great space to put a closet right here under the stairs, big enough for a doorway here and it's already walled off. You got lots of space there under the stairs as well. So really nice area down here, really high ceilings. The beams, the steel beams here are eight feet high and that's the lowest point down here. So you got a lot of space to be able to do what you want to do. Let's head back upstairs. I love how much natural light there is in here. Honestly, I could turn the lights off and it would still feel great in here. You know, I mean, so many big windows, sliding doors, you know, even this window over here is helping out a lot to keep the mudroom area nice and bright. Still love having this guest bedroom here. It's a great fit because obviously you can still use it as an office, but it just gives you more privacy to use as an office. Um, honestly, the carpet would probably help with noise reduction as well if you were worried about that working from home. But you have the option to use it as a guest room if you need to. So let's go upstairs. All right. So first off, we do have a loft area here. Not entirely sure why they didn't put a light fixture in here, but obviously you can set some lamps up or it's a great, great room for, for putting a TV and not having any glare on it. And so this could be your upstairs movie viewing location. All right, here's the first bedroom. A little on the small side, but it's it's okay. Definitely would work as long as you're not trying to put a king bed and five dressers and three desks in here. Got a nice little pond out the window there that you can see. Actual pond, not not from rain causing puddles. <laughs> Actual pond, I should say. So here we have the laundry room. 
I don't know about you guys, but to me, the laundry room needs to be where the bedrooms are. <laughs> I don't like it personally when I see homes with a first floor main level um, laundry room, especially no offense when they put it right off the garage. I do not get that because I want to be able to walk through the garage, you know, into the house from the garage without stepping on laundry, especially clean clothes or getting around it. It's like a clear path. So I like having the laundry upstairs. Then, you know, if, if your bedrooms are upstairs, you would want your laundry upstairs. So here's the second bedroom, nicer size here. Again, the double wide closet. you see nice view out here in the back from this bedroom but so i love having the uh, laundry on the level with the majority of the bedrooms that is how it should be to me all right i love this this bathroom here white shaker cabinets you got the white quartz the faucets are beautiful just lots of space in here very nice bathroom to be able to share so we do have the three bedrooms up here. So we got, we got your loft, bedroom one, laundry, bedroom two, bathroom. And here we go into bedroom three. Another double wide closet. Again, it's a, it's an average size room, not huge, not small. Nice room. I think this is a really efficient layout. You know, if everyone steps out of their bedrooms, you can literally see everyone right here. So I, I, you know, I think for some people that's great, especially if you have young kids, you want to be able to get access to them quickly. So I think that's nice. You know, some homes might have a little bit more hallways that you have to walk around and walk through, but this is really efficiently done as far as you didn't waste a lot of square footage on hallways to walk around and to get down to go between rooms so here we have the owner's bedroom and this room is huge again you could assume you'd probably put the uh, bed on this wall right here but if you stick it there in the middle you've got plenty of space on both sides for nightstands You've got this nice little area over here. If you want to put a love seat or, you know, it has a hookup there for TV as well. I mean, heck, you could, you could put a TV on the wall or put a dresser there. You could even put, you'd have the space to put a, a love seat or chairs right here to sit in and still be able to get out of the bed. And then, you know, you'd be walking behind the love seat uh, to get around from that side of the bed. So a great space in here, lots of space. And here we got the uh, master bathroom. Check out this tile floor. Very nice. Again, white shaker cabinets, the white quartz, lots of space. You know, in this bathroom, as opposed to the one downstairs, it's a very similar looking shower, but this shower doesn't have that window that was across the top of the one downstairs. So you've got your toilet there. It's not its own room, like no door, but you could always add a door if you wanted to. Um, that was how you want it, but at least you have, you know, the privacy of if someone was just walking in you're not out in the open. And then you've got a large walk-in closet. This home does not come with the ladder. Ladder's only temporarily there. <laughs> so, uh, it's a really nice master suite in here. Let's get you this view. It's huge. I don't know if you can really tell, but it is a really big room. And again, nice vaulted ceilings. Very, very nice. Show you one more view. I hope you enjoyed the tour of this home as much as I did. I love the guest bedroom downstairs, 
the main living area with all the natural light, and the huge owner suite. If you want to know everything about living in Columbus, Ohio, moving to Columbus, Ohio, or building a new construction home, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and tap the bell so you can be the first to know what's happening right now in the Columbus, Ohio real estate market. If you have any questions about this home or you'd like to see it in person, feel free to leave a comment below or you can find my contact information in the description. Whether you want to look at a home today or in a few months from now, I would be happy to help make your move to Columbus, Ohio as stress-free as possible. Finally, make sure to check out other home tours here or you can learn more about living in Columbus, Ohio here. Until next time, I hope to see you around Columbus.